Okay, so for today's abstract design, we are going to be tackling this render right here. Mostly these little particle things right here. Um, side note, on my Instagram, if you follow it, check out my stuff. I do quite a few of these abstracts. If you want to see me do a specific one that I haven't put on the channel yet, um, uh, just request it and I'll look into it. I do quite a few of these. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, first thing we're going to do, add any object you want. This part really doesn't matter. I suggest uh, a sphere for the shape we're going for. First thing we need to do is add a particle system and then go down to your field weights and put your gravity all the way to zero. Um, next thing we want to do by, or by render put um, path and then make sure that it's on emitter and not hair but that's usually by default so you shouldn't have to worry about that and then right here on cache just click bake and you should see all these little spikes and that's just sort of hair. Um, next thing we're going to do shift A and add a turbulence force field. So that'll get us to start shaping the, uh, the hair. So go over here to your settings of the force field by strength just bring it up. So the first problem we see is all these sharp angles and we want it to be nice and smooth. So go back to your particle system and under uh, display on steps Put it at about seven, and that smooths out our strings right here. So it gets kind of what we're looking for. So go back and just play with your force field. See how you like the settings, kind of play with it. Um, mess with the size, all that kind of stuff. Does fun things. Um, I'm gonna leave it at this, and we're gonna go to, click on your object, go to your modifiers, and right here, click convert, and you got all your strings. And then you can take your sphere out of view so we can just look at this. Um, go to your search, hit space or whatever you have it on, and type in convert to. Click convert to and mesh or text. So let that take a second. All right, now it's a mesh, so we can go in and we can add some geometry. So go to your mesh selection, and right here on fill, make sure it's full. And then on here, on bring up your resolution. Actually, sorry, not resolution, depth. And that'll give us the geometry we're looking for. Um, but right now they're squares. So just go to your resolution, and I usually add around 10, and then you can give it smooth shading, and everything looks good. So give it whatever thickness you want, and um, we'll take this and we'll go from there. All right, so now we want to add a camera. So go to your size. I usually give it around 2,000 by 2,000. That's 200. 2,000 by 2,000. And then I'm going to just hit it straight on. Um, camera. Just like that. Actually, we're, yeah, we're going to leave it there. So in the render, um, we have this box here and then this wall and this wall. This is completely up to you, but that's how we're going to design it here. So let's add the box. We're gonna well, first we're gonna bring our model up and add our box here. Just give it something to sit on. Make sure it's barely touching. All right, that that's about right. And then we're gonna add another another box, or you can just add a, a plane. All right, bring it up. All right, now we have our uh, our presentation here, and let's just see how that looks. All right, um, that looks pretty good. Um, I'm not going to worry about the sunlight though. We're gonna, just going to take those out. Um, I recommend for HDRIs, go to HDRI Haven. These are all 100% free, and they're super, super high quality. So I would go and pick one. I'll link that in the description. Um, I would pick one of those and use that for the lighting. So if you want to use an HDRI, go to your world, click Use Nodes, and then right here, click this, and Environment Texture, and then click Open. All right, um, and then let's see how that's looking. All right, it's super brown and weird, but that's just how the uh, the lighting is for this HDRI. We're, I'm just going to add some simple uh, principled shaders to this. The principled BSDF. We're going to give it metallic. I'm going to give this one that same shader. And this one down here, also the same shader. I'm going to give this one also a principled BSDF um, 
Where are we at? We'll make it metallic, keep it, and we'll make it red. And uh, there we go. That's pretty much it. That's the render. You can go in and be creative and add whatever uh, differences you want. Have some fun. And uh, yeah, if you make this design and you post it, uh, send it to me on Instagram. I'd love to see what you do with this render. There you go. Uh, thanks for watching.